Good afternoon, Loopy Groupies. It's Christine at the Loopy U, and I'm here to give you an update on our newsletter, just as I did last week. This past weekend, we had the wool market in Estes Park, and I was able to attend that with my son, Luca, and my husband, Bob. We had a fantastic time. It was so much fun to see um, some of the dyers that we have here at the store, including Little Scroll Yarn, we love Sarah and Dylan, and Maker Wool. Dawn was there and her mom was helping. Mary is a, a fixture at our Friday sit in it, so we love having, having her there and we love to see her there um, having good sales at the, the wool market. We also got to see some of our fellow yarn shop owners. Um, Gail from Longmont Yarn Shop was there and that was super fun. Uh, Peak to Peak Stitching was there. I didn't see Catherine, but I did see Francis and Paula. And then finally, I did see Julie from Maverick Fiber Arts. And um, it's always fun to see uh, fellow yarn store owners and um, some of the people that we get to work with in a context that is still what we're doing, but I don't have to be responsible for it. So I love that. The other thing that we did when we were in Estes Park was Luca and I went fishing in um, Lake Estes just to, you know, cause he loves to fish. Uh, and just as I hooked a trout, it wasn't like the biggest trout, although I would like to say it was huge, but it was, you know, maybe 10 inches. But anyway, just as I hooked this fish, these elk decided to, to swim across the water right for us. And so I was freaking out. I was freaking out because I'm scared of these animals. They're big. There have been a lot of injuries from people just making not smart choices in regards to the animals. And so I was freaking out and I was like, oh, I can't leave this fish like with a hook in his mouth. So I'm trying to reel it in. I'm trying to get the hook out of its mouth. And, um, but it was an adventure and um, we ended up unscathed. Nobody uh, got too terrible, too, too close. Although it was closer than I wanted to be. So that was a fun thing that we got to do. And um, it was a great weekend at the wool market. You're probably more interested in what's happening here at the shop. Well, we have a lot of new things coming in. Um, Dream and Color sent us an update of their Smushy with Cashmere. Um, they sent us this beautiful shawl sample that has yarns that will go well with it. And so I'm gonna show you the shawl. It's called the Another Door Open Shawl and you can find that on Ravelry. It uses three colors of yarn. It's beautiful. This beautifully knit dream and color. Good job. Um, I don't know if you can see it in its entirety, but it's a beautiful shawl. These are the three colors that made up that shawl. It's, there's Fancy, um, Rose and Jack, and Leia Rose. It's a beautiful color combination. But they also sent some really good color combinations that I think would work well um, that are not that. Um, that color. If you look at um, True to Life, um, Farmer's Market, and As a Bird, they're beautiful together. That would make a beautiful shawl. Or if you did Rochambeau, Vivid, and Carolina, I think those would be also beautiful. Um, so those are some options for Dream and Color Smushy with Cashmere. We also had a good restock of our Cascade 220 Superwash, our Cascade Ultra Pima, and our uh, Cascade Heritage Solids. So if you're looking to make some summer um, tops, the Ultra Pima is great. If you're working on your temperature blanket and need some yarn for those hotter temperatures, we have you covered. And if you are into making socks for that box of socks, um, year of, of the box of socks 2024 we have that covered too so let us know we'll get you hooked up the next thing in our newsletter were we discussed pins pins we have some very fun pins that sun um with sunshine designs brought to us i love when she brings us things they're so beautiful and so much fun um we have our handy little display and if you just look, there's so many fun ones. I think there's something there for everyone. You know, there's there's rainbow hearts, there's mountains, there's camping, there's tents, there's sheep, there's Colorado, there's cats. 
a lot of fun things I'm at. So if you're looking for a, an enamel pin, these are great. And um, I'm wearing my enamel um, rainbow sheep. This is about the size of them. So if you need a frame of reference, yeah, maybe an inch and a half. Yeah. She also brought some fantastic stitch markers. Out. All right, so the stitch markers she brought are these beautiful, um, fun ring stitch markers in a variety of sizes, and there's some different colors, but they're kind of more of a rubbery texture. So they kind of flex when they're on your needle. Some people like that, some people don't. Some people like those very firm rings, but these will give you a little bit of flex. There's about 30 in a package, but there's glow in the dark. Um, green, blue, kind of rainbowy pinks, and a special loopy color that's got some gray, red, and glow in the dark. Yay! Um, perfect for all of you campers out there who need some glow in the dark stitch markers for when you're actually camping. It's great, great stuff. We also, we also got in some lovely loopy used stitch markers. These used to be given out at, to first customers, but now we have them for sale. So if you're lost doors, or if you just need to restock, or if you need to fill in other project bags, we got you covered, just they're on the website. Another thing we have going on, Camp Loopy July Camp Week starts today. That's where you get your 15% off on your supplies for camp between July 11th and the 18th. Only the yarn that you're ordering for camp will um, get that discount. The theme this month is in our blog post, so if you check out our blog, um, you can get all of the intricate details and read them. In short, we're going to be picking our favorite spies and choosing a project that relates back to the favorite spy. Um, so if you're a MacGyver fan or if you're a um, James Bond fan or a Scooby-Doo fan, there's something for everybody. I'm sure you can find projects that relate to those, whether it's through the pattern, through the yarn choice, through the color, um, through the designer. Um, there's, all, there's all sorts of options for you. Just wanted to, I wanted to put a plug in because the Hot August Knits Yarn Crawl is coming up. That will run this year um, July 27th through August 10th. So if you are in the area and you would love to join a super fun yarn crawl that's full of shops that are just have wonderful owners, I know because I worked with them. Um, we'd love to have you come and see us at the shop. There's so much fun. There's so many fun things that are gonna be happening at each of the shops. If you go to the Hot August Knits Yarn Crawl website, there's more detail there. Finally, as you all know, I'd like to talk about what's on my needles. Um, I have a, two main things on my needles at the moment. One of them is my June Camp project, which, which is the Tilted Texture Shawl by Jennifer Weissman. The shawl has um, a through G, sections A through G, I'm on section F, which may seem like I'm really far, but the farther you get, the more stitches you have per row. And so I'm not quite as far as I'd like to be, but I'm getting there, it's coming along. Um, I love this yarn, it's the the Uncommon Threads Coradel yarn, and it really has some excellent stitch definition. I think it's gonna just black out beautifully. It almost has like a little bit of a shine to it. It doesn't have any silk or anything in it, but it it just is soft. Um, not quite as soft as Merino, but um, still plenty soft. And it, I feel like it's just gonna block out really beautifully. The second project I have on my needles is my unbearable uh, hoodie by Les Garçons. It's knit with the Uncommon Thread Lush Worsted. I put it on a mannequin. I'll sit her here, but I have the sleeves done and I've started working on the hood, which I have my increases coming along. I'm super excited about, I'm, I'm super excited about this one. It's so much fun. It's so beautiful. The yarn is great and the pattern is beautiful too. Well, that's about all I have for you today. Um, I will try to get this up um, by the this evening and I hope you all have a fun and creative week and will join me again next week for my update.